and welcome back. So we're near the final leg of this. Uh, feels like a really long game, but in truth it's only uh, 13 turns, 14 turns max. Maybe 15. Um, considering that turns only take five, ten minutes, if you know the rules. So, uh, yeah, about an hour odds, game time. Um, we're on turn 13, I hope. <laughs> Lost track, because I'm doing this every other day. And uh, the Americans have lost Probably about six, seven men, and the Germans have lost with 30 odds tanks, armored cars, and uh, we left off with the Germans storming the barbed wire fence. Getting obliterated basically. Okay, so morale checks. There's none for the Americans. They don't need to be morale. There's a Kobayashi Maru no win situation. Some chance observations, no point. There's nothing there to see. Smoke shells. Nope. Figures of vehicles are moved. See, we need to move. I don't think I need to move anything. Actually, I'm going to bring these motors up and the shooters because they can fall back into them trenches and dugouts when it gets a bit heavy when the big boys come on. Um, plus they get hard cover because they're in the trench. Close assaults are resolved. Okay. Can't close assault over this barbed wire. I mean, the Americans are not going to push the Germans back. To occupy a main field just doesn't make sense. So fine is declared and carried out. So we have four men left, and we've got I'm not going to use the artillery on these because these big boys are coming on over here. I wonder if actually I am never worthless. I've been popping away on the uh, Americans. I'm gonna hit them with artillery actually. I never should have thought about that long ago. Actually, I just realized. <laughs> I keep forgetting about these guys. These guys could have fired the last time. I'm going to have to leave this roof off. I keep putting it on because I like the aesthetic of the roof, but then I forget about the radio man and the motors. So, yeah, I'm going to fire now with the roofers. So we have the artillery. Which is really awkward. I know that's a quarter distance, but we're talking legs because they're off more. But they are, they are spotted because rockets have been fired, and I think the real state. 
the silk and spared, you can see them up to 60 inches, 72, you'll just double check. Visibility of target is by laying the side up to a range of 48 inches, 60 inches if a target fired from a position. Okay. So let's see if my radio guy is within 60 inches. And here he is here. My measuring tube isn't 60 inches, so where's the other one? Five inches, so we can spot them. Let's see if a radio check is through. I suppose I have to clarify our first, don't they? Yep, so artillery on the naval rifles, um, anti tank, I'm not going to bother. Too close to the, the uh, guys here. So Mortars, not gonna bother too close. So down to machine gun, heavy machine guns, M1919s. So these guys on these come for the bazookas, come for the mortars, come for to your men. So three machine guns. Okay, so the fire has been declared. Yeah, did you check for the artillery? Four gets two. Indirect fire. Forty-five inches, sixes. So these you need a six or more. Okay, so sixes or more. <laughs> sixes or more. Alright, here we go. How many D6 is it? Let me find the fives. Fight D6. Not one hit. And then we have the heavy machine guns, VMG Static 3D6. I need to have a look at the book now. Make sure you start glad out there. Alright, so point blank range beautifully. Not the six inches. Target beam. Mm, nope, targets in soft cover. We're getting them soft cover because of the uh, ridge lane, the barbed wire. Don't forget they're hogging it too. So, DD6. Six. six and the five and the five. Oh, that was a great one. So, that's three. It's. Right, so we need saves. On the thing they save. So two save, one dead. Now again, the way rapid fire works is because there's two men on a base. And that's right. You need to kill. You need two kills. It's a bit of a cop out like, but it sort of adds a bit of difference to the rules. So the next AMG. One hit. There's no point in rolling saves. And the next one. Right, so that's two hits. So the chance here of killing one piece. Actually, four, five, six, yeah, no, that's the hits. And we need three kills, which is four, five, six. 
again. No, we don't need three kills, we need two kills. And we got it at 504. So, we got a Panzer Shark. That's it for the Americans. Just checking. Yep, that's it. So, turn 12 for the Americans. Two men down, two men killed. And then figures vehicles that have not already moved can move. So we're not moving anything. Onto the German side. So this is turn 13, part B. And the Germans have the road. I think I'm wrong. I'll check at the first. Well, that's our mural test, yeah. So let's do a mural test. Let's do the dice and then do the modifiers. So we get a four. I think this is similar to the last time. So. So plus one. Infantry unit is elite, they are elite, so six or five. Um, plus one of 50% of the same vigor the infantry unit are in hard cover. Mm. Plus one of the armor fighting vehicle are active freely. Assault on the front of the Vinci's Minus one of the commanding officer CEO of the unit. No, free sector of the Yes, so the ratty, the umbral test, so they get a minus one, so it takes it down to four again. Minus one of the infantry unit can see no friendly troops down to three or four. Three. It's early morning. I'm old. Give me a break. <laughs> so we're down to three. Minus one of the infantry unit has been under mortar, indirect artillery, blah blah blah. Yep. Two. Minus one of the infantry unit are poor troops. So we're down to two. What happens at two? The infantry unit or armoured fighting vehicle must retire full move away from the enemy and they may not fire advance against his or next turn. So, six. Mm -hmm. Let's get the hell out of here, Fritz! Oh, is it Fritz Hans? Okay, so... German fielder morale. Then we bring the big guns on. So, uh, figures of vehicles are moved. I, need to get, I thought it based all my tanks, I'm going to have to get them all based properly. So, 9 inch move. model actually from Murfix. Reusing the Opal trucks again. Because I've only got four of them. Now, I'm not going to disembark the troops until I get further up this time because the last time trying to walk them 
didn't help. Okay, so German's done. So fares next. So we're gonna have the Neville workers return fair on the anti-tank. This one again. I think I've tried to hit this about four times. Radio check from the boy in the house. Does it get do? Six. I believe it's sixes with the Neville Riffers. That might be five to six. Multiple rocket launches may fire once per turn. Go two D6 each turn. A throw of six means a hit on the nominated target. So we have two, so it means we get four dice and we need six for the nominated target, whether it's moving or stationary. Here we go. Whenever I'm playing games with others, I never take them. They're just so difficult to hit anything. Okay, so Germans. Yep, done. So there's the fastest round of our turn 13. Done in 15 minutes. Uh, let's go to turn 14. As well, get this one concluded. I need to get the the room back to normal because I'm painting and decorating. And I'm going to move my gym in here, but it doesn't mean I won't be gaming. There's enough room for the, the multi gym on the, the gaming table. Okay, turn. 14 Americans. The only thing they're going to do is have another pop at the Nebel Riffers with the artillery. Artillery's great, isn't it? If anybody plays these miniature war games. Right, so 60 inches. Sixes, yep. And it's 5d6. No. Firing three barrages. Under five, five D six. That's the same in effect of a hit. So achieving the hit she hit from direct fire. Oh maybe she's using the wrong chart the last time. It's not direct fire, it's indirect. So hit you indirect. Throw for your radio, get through. We get a four. So we know what gets through. Yeah, so five or six for the first round to hit, and then a six for moving targets. So five or six. Why am I throwing five days? Should be throwing two for six. Actually, I'm wondering if it should be throwing six. Because um, I 
Okay, so let's look at this properly. Firing HE Indirect. The OP for the gun firing Indirect. Let's throw a D6 for the Colin Fire and Target. The fire of mortars and infantry guns that are part of an attached unit. Well, the, uh, mortars up to 60 mil, caliber of maximum range 18, other mortars 48 and 72. Artillery batteries firing indirect have no maximum range. Yep, okay. Guns and mortars firing indirect require D6, level 5 and 6 for the first round to hit a stationary target. D6 of 6 is required to hit target to move. If the first round hits, then the second gun the battery hits automatically. If the first round misses, the round for the second gun in the battery round motor requires 456. Stationary target. 56 for a moving target. The same effect of a hitting. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. D6s. Five D6s, but that was damage. So for each gun, we're going to throw three D6 because there's three guns in the battery, and we need five six or more. And we've got one hit. Yay! Okay, now we can throw the five D6. 105 mils, 5d6. If the target is not covered, the duck 1d6. If the target is not a vehicle, only to 1d6. Nope. So here we go, 5d6. And we get. By the looks of it now. These are the scores needed to cause a single figure casualty to destroy an armoured vehicle. Guns of mortar 5-6. Guns over 111, 4 five, 6 to destroy an armoured vehicle 6. Yep, no, not one bit of damage. Basically I need, the same as this artillery, I need to kill three men on that base. Because there's three men controlling the nav warfare. Alright, so... Oh no, that's these guys run away. So machine gun fire. Actually I'm gonna mortar them guys. Good practice for my mortar. So 50 mil. Nine inches. Nine inches. Two mortars. Six, no, actually, fifty mil, three d six. So first, get the hits. So two, and they're moving. So because they're on the way, so six is the hit. And two hits. The VMGs. There's three of them. I'm gonna throw the three D or uh, group two together. Uh, and a fire team and I need nine inches, medium range, five sixes. So there's one, two, three, four hits from the two guns. And four, five, six. Only one kill, so because there's two on a base, doesn't kill them. So the last one, 3d6, five sixes, one hit, it's no good. Need two or more to kill it due to being a base, two man base. Um, actually, the rest of them can fire. Even though I didn't declare it, we might as well clean up this last remnant. So, 
we fired that one. So this one, this one. Is that an arm mortar? No. So three VMGs. Oh, I don't know, a wee bit further away. Thirteen. Target and soft cover. So five sixes again. So many have we got in the firing team there? So we've one, two, three. So again, we'll do the six first. That's two guns. We need five sixes. One, two, three. So we've got three hits. We need two kills. Four, five, six. No, just one. Again, base survives. The last gun. Two hits. Again, the base survives. Only one kill. Just shows you how hard it is when you're multi base your troops. Just makes more sense. Uh, okay, so that's the Americans done. And then the Germans. Actually, I shouldn't have moved them guys. I was supposed to do the morale test for the Germans at the start of the round. We'll do it now. So, morale test for the last two dudes. Two? Ah, oh, they're definitely off the board. Regardless of modifiers. Plus one elite. That's three. Plus one. Nope. Plus one. Nope. Down to minus one. So these guys are off. And I think. Oh, no. Germans are firing their crappy Nabel Riffers again. Why do you have four days? Six is to hit the artillery piece on the hill. And no six. There you go, that's round 13 and 14 complete. Yeah, that'll do me for now. I'm sure it'll probably be another two or three rounds. So we've cleared up this. Two waves the Americans have successfully held Lanzaroff Ridge. Got pummeled on the road, ambushed, lost a load of tanks, trucks, men, 34 men. And if you equivalent say in the game in rapid fire, one man equals 15, and then one tank equals five, or one armored fighting vehicle. So I mean that's a lot of destruction from the 384th Intelligence and Reconnaissance Unit. And I believe they held for a day. I don't know if it was 24 hours, but it was definitely... I need to go back and reread about it again. Okay, that'll do, for, do me for now. Thanks for watching.